Thank you for sharing that story. Now, real quick before we go, because we're running out of time, can we just talk about how cool this place is and the history that we are sitting in right now? Like, I'm sitting in history. This is history. Talk yeah. to me about, this is, this was like kind of the piano room. There are some famous people who've played here, who've sat here. Tell me a little bit about that. Because yeah. your dad had the party house. Yeah, uh, Duke Ellington. Oh. That piano, mm. uh, Count Basie. Uh, Duke Ellington played, uh, I believe that is his wedding. I mean, they were friends. I mean, all the greats. Uh, I heard Lena Horne was Lena here. Horn. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was here. Um, oh my God. Patty McDaniel, would she be one of them? Yeah, ab absolutely. <laughs> Bob Hope, Jack Benny. Oh. Um, Hattie McDaniels. Mm -hmm. The, the cast from, uh, not Cap, well, Cabin in the Sky mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also, but uh, Gone, with, Gone the with the Wind. Matter of fact, this house here, if you kind of look at it, it looks like a Georgian home from Gone with the Wind. And, of course, the very black famous architect, Paul Williams. Wow. And he built this, and he built uh, many of uh, not he only did Frank black. Sinatra's home. Yeah, yeah, Lucy Ball. Mm -hmm. This house here was... Iconic. Hmm. It represented hope for people of color in entertainment. It was a sign. Hmm. It was a sign that you put your hard work in, and you can get you can get some accomplishments out of it. Now, you real really quick, can. I want to ask really quick before we go because this is so significant. Sure. Not only did your father help the black community, he and his radio partner Jack Benny. Mm -hmm. And if you all don't know, um, Eddie Rochester Anderson was the first regular, as I mentioned, um, a first black person to have a regular role on radio in its golden age. And Jack Benny, a Jewish man, brought him on. But they developed a bond, like, like a, a brotherhood, which was unheard of. You're talking about in the 30s and the 40s. But one of the really cool stories you told me is that they were almost single-handedly responsible for desegregating a number of hotels in the South. Talk to me a little bit about oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Quickly. First of all, my father...